Hello everyone, I'm Tilly Douglas from Visual Sense Crafts and today I want to show you how you can make these fantastic plaques to sell in your own craft stores or at craft fairs. And I've made thousands and thousands of these over the years, sold thousands of them. And you can put anything you want on these plaques and I make them out of um, birch plywood and they're three mil thick and really simple to make so you can put whatever you want on these plaques how fantastic is that all sorts of things you can put on these just whatever you want to put on put it on a plaque my all-time favorite <laughs> how good is that I think I'll give that one to my husband Neil for for his Christmas present <laughs> that'll please him so you can put whatever you want on these and you can make them to sell or you can make them to gift for friends family um, you can put like uh, um, personal names for your other half if you've got a pet name that you want to put in like squidgy bum or stinky poo or <laughs> like what I call my husband because he's a bit of a stinker so Anything you want to put on a plaque, put it on a plaque. So I'm going to show you today how you can make these. And, I, and it's really quite a simple way to make them. But I hope you'll agree that they do look rather fab. And like I say, I've made thousands and thousands and thousands of these and have had many, many happy customers. So it's a tutorial I've been wanting to do for a long time so I'm quite pleased that I've actually had the time to get on and do this for you today so let's get straight on and I'll show you how to make these plaques so these are the type of plaques we're going to be making today I thought I would just show you on these basic heart shaped plaques because they're very simple shape very easy to do and these are the two most popular ones that I've been selling for years and years and years the, the most popular shapes so actually this is the most popular and this is the second most popular shape because they are so simple and so versatile you can put just anything you want on these and they are absolutely brilliant and the way I do these is I get an A4 sheet of paper now this is um, 120 GSM because you need a, a thicker cut, um, paper because if you use the standard copy paper it's a bit too thin and when you come to put it on your plaque it'll tend to wrinkle up and stretch which you don't want so 120 GSM is ideal for this so obviously what we need to do is cut these out oh I better just tell you how I actually make these because what I do is I get um, open up a word doc and I open up a text box so I put a full text box on here and these plaques are 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters at their widest point so what I do is make the text box just slightly bigger than that so I'll probably do them 10.5 um, or probably 11 centimeters by 11 centimeters and then you can put any text on there that you want or in any font any all sorts of different types of font you could put pictures on there or whatever you want to do which is what one of the things i absolutely love about these is because you can just do whatever you want whatever you fancy doing you can just put on there you can change the color now this is a, a cream paper um, I don't know if that shows very well on the camera but it's a, cr a cream paper which is I like it because I do 99% of my plaques I do in this paper because then you can do them change the color with the, the border or the font um, your embellishments and make the color stand out that way I think it just makes it easier because I make thousands of these and this is a great big heavy box full of all the different sorts that I have so have them all printed out and cut out ready all each bag is a different plaque so 
I have them all ready printed out so when I'm getting low on stock on one sort I can just come to my little box of goodies and print some more out which is brilliant so that saves me a lot of time because I do that all in one go and then I've got them ready to print to put on my plaques so what I do obviously you have to cut these out and I keep all these end pieces because I use those for writing lists and things like that on. Let's just quickly cut them out and then move on to the next stage. So do this one here. This is so if your plaques haven't already got holes in, you may need to drill holes, either one either side or a centre one in the middle there. So I, these didn't have holes, so I drilled a, just use a, a five mil drill bit, it's fine. And I use good old Mod Podge and a sponge. And you don't want to put this on too thick, so just a nice light covering. but make sure you get it all the way to the edges but not over the edges if possible so just a nice light covering and then also we're going to put it on the back of this sheet of paper so when you put it on your plaque it makes it easier to slide into position so you get your position of your paper right but you don't want lots on there you just want a thin covering because if you put lots on it will make your paper wrinkle as it's drying which obviously we don't want clean up any mess as you go because at this stage we don't want any of this glue on the front of our plaque so line that up in the center and I just like to hold it up to the light a bit so you can see through it and make sure you've got that nice and centered and level and then what I use is to make sure there's no air bubbles in there I use a brayer and these are brilliant for, for doing this job so push from the center outwards just do it a few times make sure there's no air bubbles and then just get your finger and smooth it around the edge just to make sure those edges are all nice and sealed and then that's ready to be put to one side to dry for the next stage probably take about half an hour three quarters of an hour to dry it doesn't take long because it's only a thin layer of glue in there so we'll put that to one side and we'll move on to our next step so this should now be dry enough to now trim off our paper and you just want a nice knife sharp enough to just trim those edges and just go push your knife up against the side so you keep it tight to the side and just go around the edges trimming off as much of the excess as you can mind your fingers we don't want any accidents and having to rush off to hospital so very easy you don't have to worry too much just take the the worst of it off because when we've done that what we do is get a piece of coarse sandpaper and that's really is quite a coarse one so and we sand the edges down now be careful don't be going like this because it's very easy to scratch the front of this and you don't want to be sanding upwards because you're going to pull these edges up away from the plaque so just nice sharp strokes and you go down all the way around sorry about the noise but this is a necessary part of doing this plaque obviously but as you can see it comes off very very quickly and really takes no time at all And that's that done. See how tidy that's made that look. So 
clean up that dust you should actually do this job outside because paper dust is really quite bad for you so I would suggest you wear a mask and do it in either outside or in a well ventilated area because you do have to be careful with this um, and then we've got to make the holes so I use a, just a, a standard paper punch and line that up again it's easier to hold it up to the light so you can see where you need to punch and just punch it through and then just poke the piece of paper out like that and then the same with the other side just hold it up to the light so you find your hole punch it through and then push the piece of paper out and as you can see already that is really taking shape so you can see how quick you can make these now the next stage is to put our border on so you can use whatever you want you can use acrylic paints or I use sharpies and just do whatever sort of border you want I do think they look nice with a border and it's very very simple just to put a sharpie border on there you don't have to be too too special with it at this stage just whatever thickness you want to do your border what I generally try to do is do a line across all the way around and also something you do have to remember is as I've got my hand over here and when you're doing a lot of these like a lot like I have often done you tend to get this marker pen on your hand and it can often as you move your hand around spread into your plaque so just be careful you don't transfer it from your from there to your hand and then onto the front of your plaque just try and be aware of that and that's one of my lessons learnt so all the way around like that and then I go back over it and just do make it a little bit more detailed by doing whatever sort of design you want on there you can do dots swirls whatever you want but as you can see now you can see how quickly these start to take shape and are looking really rather nice already so that's that step and then our next step is to put our Mod Podge over the top now I put my sponge into a little polythene bag in between stages just to keep it from drying out and the reason I use a sponge is because it makes a much better finish and you don't have all those brush marks in your glaze so here we want a nice good coating on there now another thing to remember don't overwork this because as you're brushing this take it all the way around the edges as well as you're brushing it if you keep brushing and brushing and brushing this will leak the, the print on there will leak into the paper so you don't want to be smudging your text or your border so don't keep working and working and working it just do as what you have to do to get that nicely covered without overworking it all the way around the edges to seal those edges and that's that done so then we put that to one side and let that dry and then we'll give it a second coat and then it's ready to be strung so I'm going to put that to dry and I will give it another coat off camera and then we'll come back and I will show you how I thread them 
So here's our plaques all nicely dried and they've had two coats of Mod Podge and now all that's left to do is you need to cut your string I'm just using some nice jute string here, natural, natural string and you can use whatever you want any sort of string or ribbon or whatever you choose and just poke it through the hole now if there's a bit of the Mod Podge is stuck in there which is dry just pop your punch through there and just poke it through and then put your string through and tie a couple of knots depending on how big the hole is that you've made in your plaque is obviously you don't want the knot pulling back through the hole but that's a couple of knots in there is just just right so there we have them all on strings and now all we have to do is our last step and that is to put some ribbon on now I'm using some organza ribbon so just cut it into strips cut it at an angle always cut it at an angle and then it can tend to fray a little bit so I always burnish the ends just to stop it from fraying just a quick zip along there or you could put a little bit of glue across it to stop it from fraying whatever you prefer to do this is just a quick and easy way to do it and it stops the fraying there when I'm doing loads of these all in one go I'll have them have a a little tea light and just run it across the tea light makes it so much quicker and then just tie them on however you want to do whether you want to do a nice fancy bow or whichever way you prefer to do it and then that's it that's our beautiful personalized plaques done now I can really vouch for how well these sell because like I say I've been selling them for years and years and years and I've sold thousands of these plaques um, and I've had so many compliments from them and repeat customers so when you get lots of repeat customers for something you know that they are happy with your work which is always obviously a good sign so there's our lovely plaques all finished ready to go out to their new homes so if you've liked this video if you've enjoyed it got some benefit out of it just give me a thumbs up and like the video and also subscribe and click the little bell notification at the side because I'll be bringing lots more videos out and hopefully you'll be able to learn lots of new things that you can make and sell or gift to people or make for yourself whatever you want to do with them so just subscribe and click the bell notification and I will see you in the next video bye for now